Hi everyone. We have already seen our heat chapter. I have already completed all the concepts in heat chapter. Now all the numericals also we have done in the heat chapter. So today in our today's class, I will be going to teach you a new chapter. It's an interesting chapter. Acid, bases, and salt. You have already learned the basic concepts about acid and bases in the lower classes. What are the basic differences you have learned about this acid and bases? We already know that in our lower classes. What you have learned that. Acid coming to the acid, we will be saying that acid has what? Acid has what? Acids are sour in taste. As a sour in taste, if you observe the bases, what we can say bases are bitter in taste. Yes? And what are the other differences what we have seen that? If you observe the acid, if you observe the acid, what is the acid? We can say that its pH will be less than 7. pH will be less than 7. Coming to the basis, what we have seen that the lower class is that pH value will be greater than 7. Now one more important point about acid is what it contains excess of excess of H plus ions. Acid contains X plus, uh, what is the excess of H plus ions. Coming to the basis, what we have seen that it contains what? Excess of excess of OH minus ions. Right. Uh, then what? What are, what are the other differences? Yes, coming to the litmus paper. What we have seen that the litmus paper. Litmus paper changes color to what? Changes color to red. Coming to the acid. Now coming to the base, what we have seen that litmus paper changes color to blue. Right. Any other differences? Uh, we can say that it will corrode the metals. Corrode the metals. And it will not corrode. So these are the basic differences what we have learned in our base, uh, what is the lower classes. As it's about as it's our sodium test, base are bitter in taste, its pH value will be less than 7, basis pH value will be greater than 7, as it contains excess of H plus ions, it contains excess, uh, excess of OH minus ions, it turns litmus paper to what? Red color, its color to red, and uh, its uh, litmus paper color changes to blue if it you consider the basis. And coming to the other, other difference is what? It will corrode the metals, it will not corrode the metals. So these are the basic differences what we have learned in the lower classes. Right. So what else we have learned? Coming to the materials, natural materials like what we have seen, uh, extract of red cabbage. Extract of red cabbage. What are the natural materials? What we have seen? natural materials like extract extract of red cabbage then what turmeric solution petals or some flowers like hibiscus these all these materials what will be used as these all materials will be used as what we will be used as indicators that's what we have learned in the lower classes. So we will be using all these materials as indicators. What does this indicator tell us about? Indicators are nothing but what? Indicators are the substance which shows the nature, which shows, which tells about the nature of the substance. Like what is it? Means what is the nature? Like it tells about whether the substance is acid or base by what? Either by change, change in color. Either by change in the color or by change in the order. Order means what? Smell. So what we can say that indicators, what are the indicators we have seen that? Indicators are nothing but if those are substances which tells about the nature of the material, nature of the substance means what? It tells about whether the substance is acidic or whether the substance is basic based on what? These indicators by how it will show by either by changing the color or by changing the smell. Through that, through, through, that is the reason those are called as indicators. It will indicate the acidity or the basic nature of the substance by changing the color or by changing the smell or order. Okay, understood what are those So here, what are these are called as what? These are all natural indicators. So here we have got three types of indicators. What are the three types of indicators? Just know what we have seen here. So here, these are all natural indicators. One more indicator is what? Synthetic indicators. Synthetic indicators. What are used as synthetic indicators? 
Synthetic indicators are indicators which are obtained from the laboratory, which is man-made. So, synthetic indicators we will be using here what? Methyl orange. Methyl orange. Or we will be using what here? Phenophthalene. Okay. So, these are the basic, these are the two indicators, synthetic indicators, indicator which we will be using for what? To test the uh, acidity or basic nature of the materials. So one is what natural indicators. So one more thing is here what we can use, we can also use litmus. Litmus is also a natural indicator because litmus, if you observe the litmus, litmus is nothing but it's a dye. Nothing what? Dye means what? Color. Litmus is nothing but a dye extracted from a uh, plant called as lichen. Okay. Litmus is a dye or a color extracted from a plant called as lichen. This plant belongs to which plant kingdom? We can show. Okay. Sorry. All right. Here. Okay. So here, litmus is nothing but it's an extract, or it's a type or a color obtained from a plant called as lich, and it belongs to a plant known called as thalophyta. There are some other plants also. Flowers will be considered like petals of flowers like uh, hydrangea. Hydrangea. We can say petunia. Geranium. These are the uh, other plants or the flowers which are used as what? Which, are, which can be used as an indicators. So these are the basic indicators. We will be first one is what natural indicators, other one is what synthetic indicators. One more indicator is which is called as all factory indicators. We will be discussing about this all factory indicators in the coming classes. Okay, this class okay. Now here what we have seen that natural indicators, next one is the synthetic indicator. Here synthetic indicator, what are the synthetic indicators we will be using here? Methyl orange, next one is what? Phenophthalene. Okay, understood these are about all these things. So one more, some more uh, plants example they have given indicator, what is that? Uh, hydrangea, petunia, geranium. These are all uh, used as an indicators to test the nature of the material. Okay, understood. Next one, response, response of indicators, indicators to, to the substances, substance in the sense, acidic or basic substances, okay, how this indicator will show, how the indicator will change its color to the substances. So here we will be taking some chemicals. What are the chemicals we will be considered here? We will use uh, HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, CH3COOH, then what? NaOH, KOH, NGOH twice, NH4OH. So here we will be considering certain chemicals. If you observe, as I already told, acids are nothing but which contains uh, which, uh, which contains H plus ion. So here, if you observe here, let's see here H2SO4, HNO3, CH3COH. These are all considered as acids because it contains H plus ions. Okay. Next one is what? NaOH, KOH, NGOH, NH4OH. If you observe, it contains OH ion. So these are all. What is that? Bases. HCl you already know what is in the HCl is called as hydrochloric acid. Next is two SO4. What is that? Sulfuric acid. HNO3 this is what? Nitric acid. CH3COH it is called as what? It is called as acetic acid. Acetic acid. Next one NaOH what it is called? It is called as sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Next KOH potassium hydroxide. MgOH plus magnesium hydroxide, NH4OH is called as what? Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide. 
So we have taken certain few acids and few bases. So in this is we have to remember CaCCO is called as acetic acid, is nothing but it's a weak acid. It's a weak acid. So there are two types of acid. One is what strong acid, other one is what weak acid. Strong when we call that acid as strong acid, weak acid, we will call that acid as strong acid if that acid or the substance uh, dissociates completely its H plus ions, completely dissociates ions in that aqueous solution, then those substances are called as strong acids. Weak acid means what? Those substances whose ions are not completely dissociated, whose ions are not completely dissociated in the aqueous solution, that substances are called as weak acid. Understood what is strong acid and weak acid? In strong acid, complete dissociation of ions will take place. Weak acid means what? What is that? It will not completely dissociate into its ions in that aqueous solution. Such as such acids are called as weak acid. So here strong acid, weak acid. So here this is what CS3COH is a weak acid. Now what we will do? We will take four watch glasses. We will take four watch glasses. Watch glass means what? A small circular conical shaped glass. Okay. So here we will take four glass, watch glasses. Into that what we will do? We will add few drops of HCl. HCl. Understood? Few drops of HCl into the four watch glasses. Now what we will do? As I said, we will take what? We will take indicator because that is our example response of indicators. First, what we will do? We will take one red litmus paper, red litmus paper. Second, we will take blue litmus paper. Third, we will take phenolphthalein. Fourth, one, we will take methyl orange. Okay. So we have taken four indicators. Two are natural indicators. Other one is what is that? Synthetic indicators. So we have taken four watch glasses. Into that four watch glasses, we added few drops of uh, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Now we will be testing. We uh, before itself we think that we don't know whether it is an acid or base. For that purpose, we will be uh, what is that? Testing the uh, acid. So here what we will do? First we will place one litmus paper, red litmus paper. Now we will check the color. What we can observe that whenever we keep the red litmus paper into that first watch glass, we can observe that there is no color change. There is no color change. Now coming to the second term, watch glass, when we keep this blue litmus paper, we can observe what? We can observe a color change. We can observe the blue litmus paper is color, what is that? Changing its color to red. Now coming to the phenolphthalein. For phenolphthalein, you just remember a shortcut word. What is that shortcut word? You remember it called as cap. Cap. Okay, very simple to remember cap. What does it tell about? Phenolphthalein in acid gives colors. Colorless solution. Understood? Phenolphthalein in acid gives colorless solution. And we remember the word PBP. PBP means what? Phenolphthalein in base gives pink color. <coughs> okay. So phenolphthalein in acid gives colorless solution. Phenolphthalein in base gives pink color. Now whenever we keep few, add few drops of phenolphthalein to that third watch glass, what we can also gives a colorless liquid. Colorless. Now coming to the fourth one, methyl orange. What is the shortcut to remember this methyl orange? You, you, you just uh, write the word methyl orange. Methyl orange. Methyl orange. O R A. You remember A as acid. O R R. You remember it as red. Okay. So what we can say that methyl orange in acid gives red color. Okay. Methyl orange. In acid, it gives red color. In base, if you observe here, methyl white. You just remember, in base, it gives yellow color. Okay, very easy to remember. So, here what we have seen that cap. Phenolphthalein acid gives colorless solution. Phenolphthalein base gives pink color. Next one is what? Methyl orange. Orange. In acid, it gives red color. In base, it gives yellow color. Okay, understood. Very easy to remember. Now, here, one more important point to remember is that litmus, litmus. In neutral solution, in neutral solution, it will be what is that? Purple color. Okay, remember litmus in neutral solution it shows purple color. If it is an acid, it gives red color. If it is a base, it gives blue color. Okay, now remember I think everyone has remembered this one. Let's see this one. Experiment. 
So what we have done? What do we write here? We write here red litmus, blue litmus, phenolphthalein, methyl, orange. Now, when we check, when we will be checking this uh, HCl with red litmus, what we have seen that it no change in the color. Blue litmus, what we have also there is a color change of red. Next, phenolphthalein, what we have seen that it is a colorless, colorless. Methyl orange, O R A, in acid it was, this is a red color. It shows red color. Next one is what SQS so called sulfuric acid. Acid means what it will show uh, in the red litmus color, it will not show what? It will not show any color, no color change. So here blue litmus, what it will show? It will show red color. Phenolphthalein it is colorless. Methyl one it is red. Coming to what? Sulfuric acid, sorry, nitric acid, HNO3. Acid is what is a red litmus, it shows no color, no color change. Blue litmus will change the color to red. Phenolphthalein will what show? So here, yeah, and this acid it is what? It is a colorless. Methyl or what it will show? It will show red color. Okay. Next one it is you have to remember. Acetic acid. As I said, it is a weak acid. Complete dissociation of ions will not take place. So if it is a weak acid, as it is a red or red, what it will show? Since it is an acid, it will not show any color change. Blue ribbon means what? It will change color to red. Phenolphthalein means what? Since it is an acid, it will show colorless. Coming to the methyl oil, as I said, it is a weak acid, it will show light yellow color. Light yellow color. Now coming to the sodium hydroxide, since it is a base, what we can observe that red litmus paper changes color to what? Blue, since it is a base. Coming to the blue litmus paper, it will not show any change in color. Phenolphthalein, as I said, PVP, phenolphthalein base, what it will show? Pink color. Okay. Methyl oil, as I said, it is a base, what it will show? Yellow. Okay, next one is what sodium hydroxide, sorry, potassium hydroxide. Red litmus will show color, what it will show? It will show blue color. Coming to the blue litmus paper, it will show red, what is sorry, it will not show any color change because it is a base. Coming to the phenolphthalein, it will show pink color, methyl oil, it will show what? Yellow color. Okay, next one is magnesium hydroxide. Since it is a base, what it will show? Red litmus paper changes color to blue. Blue litmus paper, what it will show? It will not show any change in color. Phenolphthalein, pink. Uh, methyl orange, yellow. Sodium, uh, what is it? Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide, what it will show? Uh, red litmus paper, blue in color. Coming to the blue litmus paper, it will not show any change in color. Coming to the phenolphthalein, it will show what? Pink color. Coming to the methyl orange, it will show yellow. I think we have understood very clearly how this indicator will show its change in color when it is an acid, when it is a base. If it is an acid, Red litmus paper will not show any change in color. If it is a base, so if, it is, if you are using blue litmus paper, it will change its color to red. Coming to the phenolphthalein, I told you to remember the word called as what? Yeah. Phenolphthalein acid it will show what? Colorless. Coming to the base, what it will show? Pink color, PPP. Coming to the methyl orange, what it will show? Methyl orange, O R A, acid. What it will tell about? Red color. Okay, if it is a base, methyl, Y is there. So if it is a base, methyl orange will show. Yellow in color. I hope everyone understood. Clear, right? Let's see further. So these are the natural indicators. What we are seeing, natural indicators and synthetic indicators. As I said, there is one more indicator, which is called as what? Which is called as olfactory indicators. All factory indicators. What is all factory indicators? So here, as I said, indicator is nothing but the substance which tells about the nature of the other substance by change in the color or change in the order. So all factory indicators are nothing but the substance which will tell us about the nature of the substance by change in the order. Order means what I told? Smell. Those indicators are called as all factory indicators. Understood what is meant by all factory indicators? All factory indicators are nothing but the substance 
which shows a change or shows the nature which will tell us about the nature of the substance by changing the order of this uh, what is that the order of by changing its order or you can say order means what smell by changing the smell by changing the order it will tell us about whether the substance is an acid or a base for example let on take let us take onion onion so what you will do you chop the onion into small small pieces okay you chop the onion into small small pieces and you place that chopped onions into a bag plastic bag okay into that plastic bag what we will do we place a small piece of cloth small piece of cloth we place into that bag which contains the chopped onions small small piece of onion now what you will do you tie the mouth of the plastic bag tightly and you place that bag into the refrigerator at night okay next morning you take out that plastic bag open it and you try to smell the cloth what we can smell it we will be getting the smell of what we will be getting the smell of onion on that cloth up to your understood what we have done what we have done we have taken onion we have chopped the onion into small small pieces we have kept that chopped onion pieces into a plastic bag into that plastic bag which contains chopped onion we have placed what we have placed a piece of cloth clean cloth we have tied the plastic bag we have kept the plastic bag at night to the refrigerator next morning when you open the plastic bag when you smell the cloth what we can smell it we can get the smell of smell of what onion on that cloth to your understood now what you do you take two strips of cloth from it strips of means what from that cloth you cut small two pieces okay understood up here you are taken two pieces two strips now what you will do you add small amount of dilute hcl into the first piece of cloth okay into the second piece of cloth you add what is that sodium hydroxide hcl is an acid sodium hydroxide is what is a base so into the first piece of cloth we have added small and small few drops of hcl added hcl into the second uh, cloth we have added what sodium hydroxide now what we will do we will rinse both pieces of cloth with distilled water distilled water okay we will rinse those two pieces of cloth with distilled water after after the water what is rinse means after washing with the distilled water after that what you do you try to smell both pieces what we can observe that whatever the cloth we have added sodium hydroxide what we can observe that it will lose the smell of onion but we can still get the smell of onion from the piece of cloth which, which we have added dilute hcl Do you understand, everyone? This is good to remember. So, what we have seen that when we added dilute hcl in one piece of cloth and sodium hydroxide in the second piece of cloth, and when we rinse with the uh, distilled, when we wash with distilled water, after that, when you smell it, both pieces, what we can observe that whatever the piece of cloth which we have added sodium hydroxide, now we are unable to get the smell of onion in the piece which we have added sodium hydroxide, and in the piece of cloth which we have added dilute hcl, we will get the smell of what acid. With this, what we have seen, we do that. Uh, so, we what we can say that onion is acting as an indicator. Through what it will tell us about which is an acid or a base. Through this, what we can we can easily guess which is an acid, which is a base. If you are not getting the smell of onion, what we can say that whatever the liquid we have added into it is a base. Still, we are able to get that uh, smell means what? What we can say it is an acid. So, the substance which will tell us about the nature of the other substance by the order is called as all factory indicators not only in onion if you take vanilla essence when you take vanilla essence what we will do you take uh, two test tubes two test tubes take the amount of vanilla essence into the two test tubes understood now what you will add you will add a small amount of hcl hcl into the first test tube a small amount of naoh into the second test tube now close the two test tubes rubber cork and shake it well okay shake it well and remove the rubber cork and try to smell it what we can observe here same thing here whatever test tube in which sodium hydroxide hydroxide was present will not get the smell of vanilla essence but still will get the smell of vanilla essence in which dilute hcl is added through this we will be Saying we will be saying what, which is an acid, which is a base, based on what, based on the order of the substance. 
So here it is acting as an indicator. So here water we can take one more example like flow oil. Flow oil. So honey and vanilla as a flow oil are acting as what? Will act as a all factory indicators which will tell us about the nature of the substance either what is that by using its what? Smell. With smell we will be saying whether the substance is acid or base. Under step to here. So in the next class I will be saying reaction. Chemical reaction about what with acid and base with metals, metal carbonates, metal hydrogen carbonates, all those things. Okay. I hope you are today you have understood whatever concept you have told. Okay. So what I will do, what you have to do. So those you have missed my previous classes about the heat chapter, already have made a five parts of heat chapter. I have already uploaded in the YouTube. You go through that uh, videos. You go to you watch the complete video, then only you will be understanding the entire concept. I hope you understood everyone. If you like my video, please like my uh, what is a video and share with your friends and also subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to that subscription button because when you click that bell icon then only you will be getting a notification whenever I, whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.